guys what's up what's going on it's your boy mr nobody i'm back up in here doing something i probably shouldn't be doing but i'm gonna do it anyway all right so y'all know our girl kendra g i'll get my camera right kendra g hosts this show um people come on trying to find someone she what's the kendra g singles live and she tried to find these young ladies some eligible men and some men some eligible women you know i've never seen it really go well but it's this particular one this young lady um it's funny she comes on here and i notice this a lot in y'all some of these modern women you all want it all but you don't want to do nothing for it I mean, nothing. You don't want to work. You don't want to cook. You don't want to clean. You don't want to keep your weight in check. I mean, some of y'all are so freaking lazy. I mean, it's to a point where, like, damn, who raised you? You know, that's, that's where it's at now. Like, like, this doesn't make any sense. So this young lady here, she comes on the show act all innocent. But the twist, this chick was on divorce court before she even came on here. Now, she never mentioned she was married. It's a short clip Kendra did on her. But like Kendra said, her Kendra cousins will find, like people will find. They, people know people. I did a video on this, this, this lesbian girl who um, said her lesbian girlfriend made her a single mom. And went through their journey of trying to have a kid, but they never got married. And in the comments, a girl said, I remember this when they were going through it. And this thing was seven years old. So people, people know you when you out there. But let this thing roll. This is going to be funny. Because this chick is so lazy, she don't even know it. And she thinks she's helping somebody. So let's get it popping. Let's go. Okay, Las Vegas, Purdy Virgo. What you do for a living, boo? I am unemployed. What kind of man you looking for? Um, just kind of goes into what I was just saying. A loyal provider. A loyal provi a loyal provider. So you yeah. want to provide for you right now that you're not um working? Well, even in a relationship, every time I'm usually in a relationship, I typically don't work, but like I'm a helper. If he has a business. I'm there to help him with his business, um, whatever he needs. That's usually my place. So those men that you dated, why why did it never go to something? Why are you not different telling? different reasons? Um, like the last guy I was with, he had older kids, and I just felt like at a certain point he was picking his kids over me, which is okay to a certain extent. But these were grown adults that had multiple baby daddies, and they were always coming to us for money, and it just created an issue. Today. Now, before we jump to this part, y'all hear what she said. His kids was coming to us for money. Coming to us for this and this. Now, this is man kids. You kids, your kids. I mean, they probably was daddy girls, so daddy gonna do for them. Ain't much you gonna stop on that. But she's saying she wants to be, and that's another thing you ladies try to say that, you know, I'm going to help him with his business. I'm going to do this and this. Who the fuck said he needs your help? If he made it this far and doing well without you, what what are you going to bring to help him? And just what if he's not a, a entrepreneur, he has a business, or he worked for someone and makes great money or good money? How are you going to help him then? So what is your use? You know, making up that is not a use. Not at all. But see, you, you, you got to dig deep about people that's lazy. And you got to pay attention to what they're saying. She's not a helpmate. She's a selfish chick. That's all she is. So you got to dig deeper than, you know, oh, I'm this, I, I help him with his business. I do that. You didn't say what you're going to do. What's your skills? What's your skill set? How can you help him? 
You know, you can't just pop in someone so I can help him with his business. What if my business is cybersecurity? What do you know about cybersecurity? You know what I'm saying? What do you know? You don't know. All right. So this is the part that's funny. Now, she never mentioned she was married. She kept saying like her last guy she was with. The chick was married. And she actually was on divorce court. And this is going to show you how lazy this chick was. And it's so crazy because I know some like this now. They don't want to cook or clean their, in their own house for their own kids. Living nasty as I don't know what. Some don't want to work. Lady got four kids. Don't want to work. Nothing wrong with her. The other one, four or five kids, don't want to cook or clean. Ain't got a husband. She barely keep jobs. I don't get it. Why you ladies don't want to take care of your own stuff? I never understood that. If we're in a house together, you tell me, well, I don't cook, I don't clean. No, this is yours now. It ain't no thing you doing for me. This is us. This is ours. So you help maintain what's ours. It ain't no still me, 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 me. This shit is ours now. But y'all try to come in with this individual lifestyle being married. It ain't going to work. You know, I'm still an independent woman. No, you're not. You're married. How the fuck are you independent if you married to somebody? Like y'all say the dumbest shit, man. But check this out. She in divorce court. I don't know how many years prior to this, but this is her. Check it out. On divorce court. I'm in divorce court today because I thought I was marrying Mr. Right, but he turned out to be Mr. Wrong. I would describe Kimberly as selfish, lazy, delusional, and narcissistic. Very the much. money has stopped and the drama with his family has began. It's just become horrible. Kimberly's relationship with my family is so toxic that if it had a fume to it, then we would all have to clear the room right now. I wow. didn't marry his family and he needs to stop them from interrupting our marriage. In order for me to stay in this marriage, Kimberly would basically have to turn back time. You say <laughs> that the moment he said I do, everything changed. What happened? Everything changed. For me, the pivotal moment was, I'm now your wife, I need control. So I asked for his phone. I started going through his phone. I started seeing text messages, messages from his daughter. She has kids, she has a baby daddy, but she's asking my husband for money on a regular basis. And not just small amounts, like anywhere from a couple hundreds to a couple thousands. And not only her, but also his ex-wife is also texting him and asking for money and messaging him on Facebook. And so when I confront him about this, he's like, this is my family. I have to have a relationship with my ex-wife in order to have a relationship with my adult kids, which I don't understand. And okay, now she told me he don't, she don't understand why he need to have a relationship with his adult kids. The ex-wife, uh, depends off the kids. Some of the kids still living with her, but it's still the kid's mother. So... It's something you got to live with. But her thing is like, when we got married, I need to be in control and she's taking the phone and all this. But the thing is, she didn't see no cheating. All you saw was text messages from his daughters and probably a few from his ex-wife. Probably asking for something for one of the kids. But he wasn't cheating. You see how quick she tried to make that into something? And she keep thinking like the money and everything is hers now. She wants to take it over. But keep watching. Listen to this thing, man. Listen to this chick, how, how sorry she is. And he was just like, it's not going to change. Now, Mr. Belser has indicated that he's unhappy or became unhappy once you got married because you wouldn't do any domestic duties. You don't work outside the home, correct? That is correct. And he says you didn't do anything in it. You say, however, that you weren't the domestic type and you told him that up front. Why don't you tell me about the arguments you've wow. had regarding your domesticity or lack thereof? <laughs> um, I told him from the beginning, first of all, there's a huge age difference. Um, I am 33, he is 46. So he has the opportunity to marry a younger woman. Mm -hmm. I hope he didn't think that just came with no stipulations. Mm -hmm. I told him that I don't cook, I don't clean, See? and he was okay with that. He was like, that's fine. So I guess after we got married, he... My thing is why you don't cook and why you don't clean. 
That's not being domestic. That's living. Ladies, I don't know why y'all categorize cooking and cleaning as being a thing. Because if you're not with him and you had your own place, so you just going to let it get nasty? And maybe that's why I see so many nasty homes now with some of you ladies. It's because you'll have this mindset right here. Well, I don't have to cook. I don't have to clean. Just a little nasty in your own shit. So. Notice that I really wasn't going to do it, and the house just got a little bad. So mm -hmm. he suggested that one of his... See what I'm saying? Instead of clean, this is yours now. You want to stick to your guns of being delusional, you let your house get bad. I, I, I don't get it. Friends, move in and do those things for us. And I was completely in agreement. I don't have to cook or clean and she'll do it, sure. Ms. Tazina, why do you believe you're entitled to transitional support? Well, Willie takes care of the finances. Um, when I noticed that I wasn't able to do as much, I wasn't able to gamble as much because I just figured that we were having money issues, I told him I wanted to get a job. Whoa. I know you say I'm stopping a lot, but I need y'all to understand what she just said. She said she noticed when she couldn't gamble as much. She thought they were having a money problem. So this chick don't work. She don't cook. She don't clean. And she's out gambling the money away. All right. And he told me no. He wouldn't let me use the car to even attempt to go look for a job. So I'm left without any money. He canceled all my credit cards. He took me off of the bank account. So I'm pretty much destitute. Mm -hmm. So he. And this happened because you were using up the funds. You thought it was going to be fun day in his bank account. You already said you're sorry. You don't cook. You don't clean. You don't do any domestic stuff. You out here gambling. You're probably out here buying clothes and shoes. And he, he put a brakes on it. Because you, you notice she only worried about him giving away money to his kids. Or giving it to the ex-wife. You ain't heard her say he did anything else. She don't want him giving away because she wanted it all for herself. That's how selfish this chick is. And that's why I keep stopping because I need y'all to catch on what she's doing. And trying to portray herself as a good woman. When she's actually just a lazy fucking gold digger. He needs to give me that money so that I can try to get a place, which in Vegas, a place is like $800 a mm -hmm. month plus utilities. Were you working when you met him? Hmm. Sometimes, yeah. yes. See? <laughs> Mr. Belcher, your response to that. Did you preclude her from, actively preclude her from getting a job? No, ma'am. This is uh, taken out of perspective. What she does is she will apply and go to interviews and she started four jobs since we've been together, and none of them lasted past the second day at lunchtime. Wow. And why, why is that? Because every time because I you start a job, quit. he says, we right. have to go out of town somewhere. We've been to California, Cincinnati in like the last couple of weeks, so I couldn't work. No, uh, the job, you quit the jobs before the, before the, the traveling. Trips. No, yeah. he would yeah. always tell me Mr. that we Belser, have- Mr. Belser, are you done, done? Judge Toller, I love Kimberly to death, and if she could be the woman that I met in the beginning, I would spend the rest of my life with her, but she has a level of delusion and dysfunction Damn. that is beyond tolerable. Right. So you're done. Yes, ma'am. That's game. That's what's and up, that's, that's what's up. Let me tell you what. Delusional yeah. is an accurate term. If you think I'm gonna let you come in here, your little sad admonishments about I'm not <laughs> domestic, notwithstanding, you showed up not a wife. You showed up with no heart. You showed up with no care. You showed up with no concern. You did nothing for the brother. The brother got nothing from you. And you're not going to get anything from me. This matter is a gun. All right. So. This is what's happening out here, guys. These are the people that's out here talking about. They want it all, but don't want to give anything. Now, she comes on Kendra's show. Remember, this, like. Like she was a prize. I don't do this. I don't do that. I don't do this. This is what people need to start seeing. These people don't just come out of nowhere acting like they looking for somebody. See, people don't got rid of their ass. And then I got a little older. Like she's, well, I don't know how old she was, but she said they met. They were 33. He didn't say how long they were together. But 
The only thing she was concerned about was getting his money. And this chick had the nerve to say, I couldn't gamble as much as I wanted to. So I thought we had some money shortage. What kind of shit is that? She out just gambling away the money. You don't want to clean. He had to hire somebody to do the cooking and the cleaning in the house. And the only thing you're doing to spend the money, and your and your attestment is, well, he got a, a young, younger wife. He didn't get a young thing, he got a younger wife because she's 33, 34 years old. I mean, this is ridiculous, man. This is ridiculous. You ladies got to check yourselves. This shit is ridiculous. Delusional. I don't know what. Ladies, I'm, and I'm telling you, it's something around this age between 28 and 35 that y'all are have y'all are full of shit. I ain't going to lie. These young ladies out here I be talking to and seeing are going through some things that normal women don't go through. This motherfucker wants to start cutting grass beside my house now. Well, I got to get off here anyway. Well, guys, the lawnmower man going to run me up out of here. He's literally right beside my window outside of here and decide he want to cut the grass today. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and leave and leave y'all with these thoughts. And, guys, you got to be careful. I don't know what this chick did to make this guy want her I think she might have pulled a trick on him and she might have been doing a little bit of this and that until she got him because once she said when they got married she's like I need to have control and went straight for the phone and everything else I don't know somebody need to teach these women something better I don't know man I don't know but that 28 to 35 you women and uh, y'all done hit y'all on the wall and y'all weird as shit right now Y'all don't want to cook. Y'all don't want to clean. Y'all don't want to keep yourself, your body straight. And if you're not, y'all getting these crazy BBLs. Nobody's in the gym. Nobody's put no work ethics in. Let's put it that way. No work ethics whatsoever has been put into yourself and to maintain a relationship. And I'm not even speaking on marriage. I'm just saying relationship. You can't even keep a good relationships. So... You get what you get out here, man. That's all I can say. Well, as always, your boy, Mr. Nobody, and I'm up out of here. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe, like, and share the video. Definitely comment. Let me know what y'all think. And I'm up out of here. Y'all take care. I'm out of here. Peace.